This is Ozogolo community in Ewu, Eastern Central Local Government Area of Edo State, South South Nigeria. On the 22nd of May 2017, this quiet rural agrarian community was thrown into mourning with the news of the gruesome murder of two women by persons suspected to be headsmen. We heard a shout, crying that somebody has been killed in the bush, a woman, then happened to be one of the first people that rushed there. On getting there, we met one woman, stankly naked with pool of blood in her farm. A resident of the area takes her crew on a guided tour to the spots where the two women we are said to have been raped before they were eventually murdered. This was the area they dragged her through. They dragged her through and she finally died on this very spot. So immediately we decided that one. when we came back here, we come to see that this one was even the first one that did because already flies were now perching on, on, the, on, the, on, on the corpse. Leaders of this community who are still in shock say one of the women had before her brutal murder complained about the activities of the herdsmen. don't want to die in the farm because of the woman is my second. I don't actually know what is going on there. That is why that I don't want to go to the farm again. The chief security officer of Edo State, Governor Godwin Obasake, visits the community to commiserate with them. It describes the activities of the herdsmen as a national security threat, assuring them of measures being taken to check the murderous herdsmen. These are Boko Haram terrorists and people who have been fighting wars in the northeastern part of Nigeria. As you know, the traditional herdsmen do not carry guns, automatic weapons. In Edo State, we have certain plans which we are finalizing, which I am not going to be able to disclose publicly here now. But I want to assure you that in a matter of months, we are going to come out, or weeks, we are coming out with certain measures to prevent what has just happened. This incident has altered life in this community significantly, but it is one they hope to put behind them as soon as possible, banking on the promises made by the state government to bring them the much-needed succor.